We're gonna raise it. We're gonna raise it to four volts and set. This board is gonna be left for Paul. Do keep in mind that every single one of these boards that I work on does get picked at random. 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 Picked at random. What the fuck? Random. Random. After the Apple Box incident, there was a rift created between the board repair department and the hard drive data recovery department. Today, we're going to try and settle this feud like men with a duel. This is a view of Manhattan and around the Times Square area. Ah, uh, seems like somebody's still using the tiny tantalum cap on their C9560. Yeah, your solder joints on your U8900 are looking a little rough. If certain people watched my channel, that would not be up in Times Square for millions upon millions of people to see. That's a really expensive way to advertise that your products suck. Why by the law to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? It's a criminal offense to intentionally give false evidence or make a false statement before the court of law. Do you affirm that you will tell the truth and nothing but the truth and not concede anything of relevance to the case? And then, please repeat after me. I do so affirm upon my honor and conscience. I do so affirm upon my honor and conscience. Uh, can you see me? I can see you. Okay, excellent. Uh, what I'm showing to the court is on print screens. I think it's, it will be difficult for you to see. Uh, I can see. I know my face. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is. Uh, yes. From some uh, films that you have uploaded on YouTube, which says, the title says, basically it's more or less, uh, fuck Apple. Tell the truth and nothing but the truth. On two of those, and then fuck Apple part two, part three, uh, the number one reason Apple pisses me off. My question is, does this, is my understanding correct that you have some issues with Apple? Yes, I have issues with how they treat the consumer and how they treat independent repair. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Chair Chan, Chair Feeney. Thank you so much for the opportunity to testify before you this afternoon. First start by saying that we're here in opposition to the Red to Repair Bills. But the reality is that some of the people that you're hearing from today uh, greatly seek to profit off of this legislation. This legislation has been filed in over 21 states and no state has passed this legislation and that's for a reason, including several of your neighboring states which have looked at this. My name is Lewis and I run a repair shop in New York City. Before I get started, I think it's important to address a point that Mrs. Fisher just brought up, which is that there are many people that are seeking to profit from this legislation. And I agree that it's an important point. I think it's important to look at who paid to be here today versus who is being paid to be here today. When looking at who is opposing the legislation, and who is in favor of that legislation. The last excuse that I heard was, this has been denied in every state, why Boston? Why Massachusetts? Wouldn't that have been a great attitude to have 250 years ago? Fatality. <laughs> Thank you for your... Thank you for your testimony. Lisa McCabe, and I'm with CTIA, the Trade Association I'll try not for the to repeat. Wireless Industry. Um, 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 I think um, proprietary um, um, legal um, ramifications, um, dangerous um, security. Um, there, are, there are dangerous, um, dangerous um, um, privacy. Uh, I think um, um, this bill, uh, innovate, these, both these bills, um, and um, I encourage um, the committee um, to think um, thoughtfully, think um, thoughtfully, think um, thoughtfully about um, this. Um, um, thank you very much uh, for your time. You. Any questions? You gotta find something to clean your tip every now and then. If your girlfriend leaves and you don't know when she's coming back, it helps to have something else to stick your tip into. Especially if it promises that it's gonna clean your tip. So you don't want to dip your tip in too long, just, you know, 10, 15 seconds. And then, if you're a real savage, while your girlfriend is watching in chat, you can stick the tip in. Oh yeah, oh that is so satisfying. And when you're done sticking the tip in, every now and then it's good to smoke. 
I, you know, for some people, once they're done sticking the tip in, they'll just allow it to smoke for a little bit right after they're done. Kind of relaxes them, you know? See that? See the little bit of smoke? You're going to point. See the, this thing? It's okay. got to point at the capacitor. Okay. All right, okay. so go. Okay. Okay. You're, you're pointing at Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't care about Thunderbolt much either. But now you're pointing at battery. Erica, you look at the heat. Look at this. Okay. Okay, how about we just fuck it? We do it without the microscope. Okay, that works. Here, let's. And just know it's not me. It's the way it's listed. That's yeah, how I get but it. did you so post the ad or did they post the ad? No, I. You see, they told. Why me. the fuck you lying? Fine. It's commercial real estate. What was this? Uh, how many square feet? Yep, I got you. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, right, twenty five hundred. Okay, front section is four seventy two. Huh. Let's see. I mark up my prices, but I also don't lie about the shit that I'm selling and claim it's something it's not. They're not lying. It's commercial real estate. See? Right, but you're not going to find anything. They're not lying. It's commercial real estate. See? Right, but you're not going to find anything. Lost in this moment is where I want to stay This can't be broken We need to find a way That is the sound of waves hitting up against the beach, the shore In, and then the waves go out and the waves come in, and the waves come out. This little torch over there continues to burn. The pine tree continues to pine, and the ocean continues to ocean. Ah. Let me show you what I love about the MacBook the most. Where there once was a happy connector, there now sits nothing but brown rust and burning. The connector has obliterated itself. But if we go over to the backlight fuse, the cornerstone of the circuit, right at the beginning, you'll see that there's nothing wrong with it because we are working inside of an Apple product. Why would the fuse blow when the connector can burn? Don't say that you will be working here on New Year's Eve. Dude, it's, it's a, what, are you, what are you talking about? It's New Year's Eve. It's gonna be New Year's Eve. Of course we're gonna fix a MacBook on New Year's Eve. What else are you supposed to do? take a look and figure out what's going on with this MacBook. The first thing that we notice, if you look at it from the side, is that the charging port on it looks a little different than your average Mac. So this is a normal MacBook charging port. This is this MacBook's charging port. Ouch. Let's take a look at the other side of the Mac. If only you could smell this over the camera. <laughs> ah, Apple fireplace. Nice little MacBook. And as a nice touch, you can also see that it's actually leaving a stream of ash all over my desk. Oh my oh. god! Holy <laughs> what? shit! What the fuck? Whoa, look at that trackpad. Great shit. job, Apple! Good job gluing the battery into that computer! And they say their batteries don't explode. Yeah, yeah, you're so much better than Samsung with the Note 7. <laughs> this is a bigger one! <laughs> this is a bigger one! This is a bomb! Why did this shit catches fire? Like Can we throw this at Kevin if he put somebody on hold? Missing a screw over here. Well, let's see what we can do. Boo, long screw in the short hole. Damn you. Damn you. Long screw. Another long screw in the short hole. Damn you. You evil bastards. Just curious, what does the long screw in the short hole do? What does the long dick do to your short asshole when it goes up it? I want that that's what it does to the machine. Imagine somebody takes a, a large long schlong and shoves it into your tiny asshole, like all the way up there, all the way in. That's what the long screw in the short hole does. 
breasts are already very well internally braced and oh my balls and thick ow oh oh balls balls pothole ow ow so in this article you'll see that they were going to lawmakers and they were actually bringing iPhones to meetings and saying that you could hurt yourself by puncturing a lithium ion battery. Another interesting article on this that has some quotes from Lisa Jackson which is Apple's vice president of policy and social initiative thing. So it says, I don't think you can say repairability equals longevity. I often say if you're in the repair business, repair seems like the answer. On lines like, our first thought is, you don't need to repair this. Of course you think that! Why would I get my oil changed when I could simply buy a new car? Why would I wash my clothes when I can simply buy new Levi's every week? They say this with a straight face. Straight face. Vice president. Trillion dollar publicly traded company. No, nothing wrong with this. And when they will actually go door to door and say you can't replace a battery in a device because you may puncture that device. Well, let's see how much Lewis is going to hurt himself. Now, I'm not going to use any of the tools that are typically sold when you purchase uh, batteries and things like that because many do-it-yourself kits will include little pieces that are designed to not puncture and, and work with it. I'm just, I'm, let's just assume that I'm just going to go to my garage and I'm going to fix my phone. Let's pretend that you're one of the stubborn, my family, that just sees the VCR clock brinking and they just decide to just bash the, the remote on the VCR until it works. So we're going to get this battery out of here. Uh, this, is, this is an authorized Rossman repair tool, by the way. So we are going to, yeah, this is a parts phone. I don't got to care how mean I am to it. And let's see what happens here. So I'm not wearing gloves. I'm pretty sure I'll be, my hands will just be just fine. And... Yeah, let's, let's get this battery out of here, so... <sighs> yeah, we're gonna bend that battery a little bit more than I, I wanted to, but, uh... Come on. Dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Pinched. Whatever this thing is. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. This is, yeah, this is really dangerous. This is a regular... What's up, Lisa Jackson? Yep, way too dangerous. I don't know how anybody that's following instructions is gonna do this without just effing killing themselves now, aren't they? Vice President of Social Policy, Environmentalism, Apple fucking Inc., you stupid bitch! Are you fucking kidding me? Too fucking dangerous! You used to at least come up with, let's say, level 6 or level 8 bullshit. You're not even bringing the level 2 bullshit anymore. This is the best you can come up with. Vice president of a damn near trillion dollar company. I came up with better shit than this to explain why I didn't do my current events homework in third grade. You think it will ever be fully impossible to fix MacBooks one day? Absolutely. Once everybody decides that they don't want Apple products and they stop buying them, there'll be no MacBooks left and therefore nothing to repair. Once nobody wants a MacBook anymore. Once nobody owns a MacBook anymore, it will be impossible to fix them. It's a day that I can only dream of. But I believe that if I just keep dreaming, that someday my dream will come true. Okay. It seems that we have a 0 0.4 ohm short to ground on the other side of the fuse. Now that is going to be a short circuit to ground on our PP bus. My PP bus is shorted too, says Jeff. I hope you get that looked at. Having a short PP bus is going to get you in trouble.
Put down the weapon, woman! Put it down! After the meal. Ross, I'm triggered. How can I help you? Yeah, I wanted to call and let you know that I am uh, incredibly, intensely aggravated that I just got my computer back with a label on it that was near Must. impossible to remove. Um, so I'm not sure how that became a practice there because I've sent my computer to you numerous times before and it's never come back with a sticker on it that I took me 25 minutes in Gugon to remove, but I wanted to let you know that's a disgusting practice of complete disrespect for your customers. Thank uh, you so much. Have a great day. Sure. Okay. Uh, if you want to talk about it, I can talk if you'd like. Look at this. This equipment is protected against theft by the STOP International Registration System, which makes resale of stolen equipment impossible. Removal of the STOP security plate requires a force of up to 800 pounds, and if removed, the plate leaves a permanent marking. 800 pounds of force. <laughs> Get the goo gone, man. Eight hundred pounds of force, baby. Where's the bench press? I'm ready. I'm gonna do three plates for sets of fifteen. Okay. I beat it. One. Okay, we have touch. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Jernage, you European snob saying it's not gonna boot, it's not gonna boot, it's not gonna boot. Freedom! You enjoy your high taxes. All right. The thing is, I am not gonna get any money for this because I don't have a fucking passcode. <laughs> what bothers me above all else is the gaslighting. The idea that Oh yeah, I have no idea what you're angry at. There's nothing really to be angry at. I mean, I, I don't get it. You, you're just angry at Apple for views. Even though your video ratio is something like 30 to 1. Educational to aggravated at something Apple did. You just make this stuff up. Because it's convenient for you. No. We read articles like this. Where they defend individuals that say that if you give money to somebody like myself or Jessa, you might as well throw it away. That we are lying, that we are scamming people by offering these services. And then you say out the side of your fucking mouth. Non-Apple retail repair shops serve an important purpose. Or they say things like, board, board swaps at retail locations are far quicker for the company, require less skilled workers at retail, which can be paid less than a Rossman. So you're willing to say that we have a place and that we have skills. But you will defend the people that say that if they give us money, they might as well be burning it or throwing it away. And you wonder why people in our industry are fucking mad at you. PP5 ES4 is not present. So it seems that PP5 ES4 is the rail that's not present. So what would we do next? What we're going to do is we're going to find the chip that creates this rail and then take a look around it a little bit. Now the first thing is when we look around the board, we're going to see a lot of different PP5 ES4 RS3s. We're not looking for where PP5 ES4 is going into something. We're looking for it coming out of something. So we're not looking for the mouth, we're looking for the asshole. This is PP5 ES4 RS3 going in to a USB port power switch. See how PP5 ES4 RS3 is here? And it says in? That's the mouth. Not what we're looking for. This is where PP5 ES4 RS3 is going into U7501. Again, that's the mouth. We're not looking for the mouth, we're looking for the asshole. It says PP5 ES4 RS3 output. So this is not the input, the mouth, this is the output, the asshole. Meaning that U7501 is responsible for creating PP5 ES4 RS3. Something that has confused a lot of the students that I had when I'm sitting in front of them and they're trying to figure out how to troubleshoot this stuff is they cannot tell when a signal is going into a chip versus coming out of it. They don't know how to look that up. So when I say, find me where this rail is created, they skip over the chip because they can't tell the mouth from the asshole. And it's important to tell the mouth from the asshole because there's clear differences between the two. We're gonna try to see why that is. There's a spider that just jumped out of this MacBook. Holy shit. OMG, die. Oh wow, he's inside the MacBook now. There's no stopping this fucker. 
What? Okay, he's under the- oh god. Get the fuck out of this MacBook. Get the fuck out of my Apple. We are closed. It's noon. There is no way you are closed. Where's my alcohol container? So we've plugged in this MacBook, and it appears that it's drawing zero amps and not giving us a light on the charger. Hmm, what are you? And look what happened when we touched it with our tweezer and our multimeter. We just so happened to get a fan spin. So we fixed this board by touching it. That's all the board needed was the touch of my hand right here. And it worked. SendYourMacBook.com to pay $325 for me to touch the board with my tweezers. You will be healed. All I had to do was touch the board with my tweezers. Don't delay. Click our affiliate link down below to get these special board healing tweezers today from Amazon.com for less than $10. You're the inspiration for everything we do. Sincerely, the lady that everybody dislikes at YouTube to the point where when her face is in a video, they have to turn off the comments because of all the rage she gets for the fact that she appears to be ruining the business. CEO, YouTube. Even the paper they print this on is pretty nice. You know, if, if, if YouTube put as much effort into caring about the people that were on their platform as they did into this piece of paper over here, this is nicely textured shit. Look at this. Yeah, this is some seriously nice paper. No, look at this. Look at that paper. Look at the grain in this stuff. This is quality. Again, if YouTube put the effort that they put into this piece of paper, into the actual people that make their platform something worth a damn, my God. So I'm warning you right now that if you have children watching, I suggest that you have them look away immediately and unsubscribe. Are you ready? Harmful or dangerous content. An angry Clinton. The way YouTube works, if I get one or two more of those, I won't be able to live stream anymore. I won't be able to upload long videos anymore. But it seems like a fitting punishment for what I've done. I understand why they took the need to take this down on Christmas Eve. Thank you, Susan Wojcicki, for keeping YouTube safe. Good taste, Blackberry. You like Vandersteen speakers, too. <laughs> Good girl, you just meowed again. High five. Give me, give me paw. Give me some high five. Oh, good girl. Do it again. Not you, Clinton. You get enough attention, you fat bastard. Look at you, you 24-pound cat.